Hello everyone. Now I will show you how to tie a very simple fly. Uh, I just tied it a long time ago uh, as a challenge. A friend came into a pub and uh, he just said, okay, I have a fly. Can you tie it just by looking at it? And I tried, I succeeded and this is just uh, how I remember it. And uh, it's, it was a long time ago, but it involves just one CDC. It involves thread and that's it, and the hook, of course. So I'm using this uh, TMCO, let me see the model, sorry, 108 SP in, the, in, in, in 18 size. So it's rather a small hook, but it penetrates deeply uh, into the water film, so that's why I like it. Uh, so I'll just tra start with my thread, and I'm not going to pass the band of the hook. This is uh, as much of the hook as I will use. Now for the CDC, you want to stroke back these fibers and as you can see, these two are next to each other and I want to keep them this way. Everything else, I'll just stroke back as tightly as possible to the stem without breaking any fibers and I'll decide how long body I want. Since this is size 18 hook, I don't want body to be too long and I will just catch it here and with just a few reps I'll position it on the top of the hook like so now one two reps in front just to tighten everything down and this is it now the rest you can just pull those fibers like so and create those wings but I don't think this is sufficient that's why I will just pull all the fibers from the CDC I'll just stro stroke it backwards like so and you don't need to pull them like I don't know how much but just to keep them on the hook so with two turns again and then tighten it down and there is a third one actually and then two in front to keep it safe now I want to see if everything is positioned properly and before I do that before I continue I just want to position my wings upwards a little bit and to do so, I want to actually even make a circle around CDC here. So as you can see, this is more or less it. Do with finish knot. Now I guess you figured out what I'm going to do with this fly by now. It's quite easy fly. Uh, Obviously not as durable as I would like because it's just one CDC feather the body won't last for long if you fish for trout if you fish for grilling you won't have those issues now what I like to do is I'd like to just cut this and leave a small tag just little tiny head here and I'll just shape it up because I didn't cut it well now as you can see just a small tag Wings are positioned nicely upwards, it's like 45 degree angle. Uh, body is here and now we need tail and tail. Just uh, go with your scissors and do this. Like cut and you'll leave like two or three fibers uh, with nice shape. Um, what about wings? These are too long of course. So just what you can do is measure them against the body. So this is where body ends. Let me. This is where body ends, so I want them to be more than body length, of course. Cut it, and this is your fly. Uh, probably, like this is above the surface, hook is under the surface, so when fish strikes, it will uh, hook itself easily. This is Barbo's hook, so it penetrates even more easily through the fish's mouth. That's why I like to use them, it holds fish nicely. I mean, I don't like to use barbed hooks unless I'm fishing for salt water. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And that's it. See you next time and stay safe.